Welcome to section three of real world projects in Python 3. And in this section, we're going to be building an app to send and automate sending emails to a list of recipients. In this video, we're going to see how to send email. Now, Python comes out of the box. The standard library includes a IMAP lib and an SMTP lib. With the IMAP lib, you can read, search, and retrieve email. Okay, and with the SMTP lib, you can send email. We're just going to be working with sending email. And I'll just note that as you get started, depending on who your provider is, you're going to have to make changes to allow us to access the SMTP server. Okay, and this is basically a security concern. I'm going to be working with Gmail. I've already made the changes. They're pretty simple to make, but I'm not going to go through that here because I don't know what server you're going to be working with. But just be aware that you may need to make changes in order for Python to talk to your email server. Okay, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started demonstrating how to send email. So I am going to fire up Spider. And then the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and import the SMTP lib. And additionally, I have made an external class to import my username and password just for privacy. All right, I called the class PW and I saved it in a file called PW. So I'm going to be importing that. And then I'm going to set the PW object. And then I'm going to go ahead and read my password and my username. Okay, so with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and demonstrate how this works. We're going to set a variable, the SMTP object, and we're going to set that equal to SMTP. And then we're going to here input the name of the server. And normally it's just SMTP followed by the name of the service. So as I mentioned, I'm using Gmail and that is their server. You can also put in a socket to try to connect to. All right, and again, this is maybe gonna be specific to this email server that you're working with. Okay, and then we'll just print out to make sure that we made a connection. Okay, and then we will start to encrypt our communications. Okay, we're just going to print a message to make sure that things are going the way we expect them to do. All right, and then next thing we'll do is log into the server. Okay, and here's where we'll use the username and the password. Okay, and now we're ready to go ahead and once all that has been confirmed, we're ready to send an email. So I'll just reference the object again. Okay, there's a few options here. I'm going to use send mail. And the sender is going to be my user. Okay, and then all we have to do is include a message. And if we include a subject line, okay, when the object goes through and parses the message, it's going to look for this subject. And I'll just say it's a test. And then after that, I'll put a new line. And then just our message. Okay, to send mail, we're going to need three arguments. One's going to be the user, one's going to be the recipient, and then the final thing is going to be the message. So I will just put in a recipient here. Okay, so with our message ready to send, we'll go ahead and send it. And once we're done, if we're successful, we're going to want to log out of the server. And so we do that with just the quit function. Okay, I'll ready to test. We'll try it. We can see our login messages, they're working. And then we can see that the mail must have been sent because I didn't get an error. And then we get the final message that we've closed the connection. So we can go ahead and check our email and make sure that it did in fact send. I'm confident that it did.